And we pick it up now in the third over. Six runs are on the board. Alderman is coming into bowl to Greenwich. His partner is Haynes. And your commentators are Tony Cozier and Bill Laurie. He's cracked that. That's a magnificent hoik. That's gone miles. Well, he's got the fine leg up, and it goes for four all the way. And that's a lovely shot, no need to run. Haynes knows it's going for four, and he stood there. Well, the run's really flowing here now. And Hughes having difficulty with his line. Wide of off stump, now on the legs, and another boundary. And that could go again. The outfield is very fast. He hasn't hit it quite as well as the previous one. But they will run the four nevertheless. It's the longest boundary in the ground today because of the fact that the pitch is in the same location as it was the other night. Oh, what a glorious shot. And the pose is there for the cameraman to take it. Look at these placement. It's a wide delivery, and he didn't move. Picked up beautifully. Well, these two bowlers, Hughes and Alderman, have only had to stray a fraction out there, and these two guys are after them. That one's going to bring up Desmond Haynes as 50. So, very, very well compiled innings. Desmond Haynes now has lost his half century. In the air, there's going to be out. Jones is under the ball. Will he catch it? Will he drop it? He's got him. He's out. Australia have struck. Dean Jones down there in the deep at mid wicket has taken. A big, big hit into the outfield. Well, the crowd certainly loved the ball to go in the air. And they really love it, this crowd, when it goes in the air and is held. Gordon Greenwich, after a magnificent 46, opting to put Peter Taylor into the stand, not quite getting onto it. Dean Jones making a good catch. So Gordon Greenwich is on his way. Australia have made the breakthrough. It's one for 99. For Border. And he's gone. I think the illness uh, got him in the end. But the wicket will go down against Alan Border's name. Desmond Haynes getting that one off the toe of the bat and hitting it straight to Steve Waugh. Though so a vital breakthrough, he had the option of going off, but he decided to stay. Got on the edge of the bat, hit a fraction too early, straight to Stephen Moore at mid-wicket. And he leaves Australian captain in a vital breakthrough for Australia, and all of a sudden it's two for 120. And well taken there by Steve War, although there seems to be some doubt War doesn't believe that he caught it. He caught it and dropped it, Ian. It was a great effort. It was a full toss and leg. Not, because he's not going after board, it didn't really hit it, just chipped it there. He got his hands as he rolled over. The ball dropped out. Got it. Another, another caught and bowled. And that makes at least three. Let's have another look. Drive, slight miss hit, and there's no way in the world Border drops those. Gus Logie out caught and bowled. And that's a missed chance, and what a missed chance. Second ball. Steve Waugh puts down his second catch of the day, and Viv Richards gets away. Now that's a big one. It's going into the crowd, carrying over long on for six. And with this shot, Viv Richards goes to over 2,000 runs in one-day internationals against Australia. 
Ooh, the big hit. It's gone for six, hasn't it? Yes, it is. Just over the, the boundary, a big one by Richards. And Viv thinks it's going, he hasn't bothered the run. And he was right. It's gone again, that's another big one. And Jones can't get out either. Greg Matthews. It's four. Richard was going to charge. Matthews saw him coming, pushed it down the leg side. And swept it away. It's going out. Past Jones. 14 runs off the over. Three for 239. 50 for Richie Richardson. Bowling! That's what they needed. Merv's got through the great player. Richard's out for 53. And that's exactly what Australia needed. They need wickets. West Indies have still got six more in hand. But to get rid of the danger man, Vivian Richards bowled by Merv Hughes will make it a little easier for Alan Border. There's still a lot of work has to be done. 53 runs off just 39 deliveries, a gem of an innings by Viv Richards. It's going to beat fine leg, Matthews. Racing out, and it could be four. Well, they've paid the penalty for having that fine leg up inside the circle today, the Australian teams, for the first time of the summer. It's a big hit, there's a man down there. He should be able to straight down his throat. Yes, that's the end of Richie Richardson. Out for 55. Caught it wrong off at the bottom of Terry Oldham. Ball going out to Mark War at long off. Straightforward catch. The end of a fine innings. Useful Australia. Grab another wicket. Richie Richardson on his way. He's been caught by brother Mark off Steve's bowling. West Indies five down for 258. It's a big hit. There's a man down there. He's getting under. He should catch this. Yes, he's out. Caught a deep backward square leg by Mark Law. So Carl Hooper up for 12. Mark War getting in the action. We've seen Steve drop a couple, his brother today, but Mark's not going to fall for that. Really at the business end of the West Indian innings, Carl Hooper trying to loft it into the crowd, into the Brawongle stand. Pretty big hit, that's one of the longer parts of the ground, but Steve, or Mark Wall, making no mistake. Carl Hooper is out, the West Indies have lost their sixth wicket, 263 runs on the ball. Hughes strikes again, there's nothing to beat. A good length ball on the stumps. And Jeffrey Dujon is bold. West Indies now seven for 270. He was looking for the gap through the covers. He wanted to beat the man inside the circle. There was no one back in the covers. But Murphy is too good for him. Right on line, the West Indies seven for 270. That's a big one. That's a big six from Ambrose. Well, we've seen some big hitting here at the, at the SCG this afternoon. Gordon Greenwich started it off. Captain Viv Richards with three. And here's another big one. Five sixes the West Indies have hit in this innings. That's a spectacular dismissal. And Merv Hughes is right in the stumps. Merv in a very happy mood. Certainly a lot happier than he was early in the game. His first four overs were extremely expensive. The opener's really got to him, but he's getting something back now as he knocks the tail enders over. Malcolm Marshall. The last one to go as he shows how the stump went spinning out of the ground. It's eight for 277. Here they go. 
and he's hit the stumps out of the ground again. Well, wasn't that a, an absolutely terrific performance? The West Indians uh, have always had this thing about the uh, best way to win a match is to attack, particularly if you're down or if you've just been beaten, and that's just what they did out there. It was a tremendous effort, nine for 277, getting it away to a, a great start with 99 in just 104 balls, Greenwich and Haynes, and then Richardson, 55 in 77, quite content to play second fiddle there to some of the other batsmen for a time. Logie was a little slow till Border picked him up there, caught and bowled again, and Vivian Richards dropped before he got off the mark, before he was bowled by Hughes in the end, 53 in 39 balls faced. And these bowling figures make interesting reading. Terry Alderman, the first time he's been, been taken to in this series so far, 42 from eight. Murph Hughes came at the end and uh, took four for 44 from seven overs. He had none for 28 from four, but he bowled straight at the end. And that was valuable to keep the progression of batsmen going back to the pavilion. Matthews, 62 from seven overs. War. 45 from eight and a wicket. And the two men who once again are the best bowlers, as was the case last Thursday night, Taylor and Border, between them 20 overs and they took three for 70. In the context of that score, 277, I thought that was a marvelous performance. Well, that is a big ask. 278 at 5.56 per over. I don't think the Australians can do it, but it's a good pitch, an enthusiastic crowd, and they'll be giving it a go. Boone has one, as has Marsh. This is Marshall. Oh, it's up in the air. Gordon Greenwich is underneath it. Oh, he's dropped it. Well, perhaps it's the West Indies' turn. They now have the dropsies. Well, well, well. Gordon Greenwich has got a safe pair of hands. And that has gone way into the sky. Got under it nicely, through the hat off, but down she went. That's a let off for Australia. In the air and over the infield, that's the way to do it. Here's a bit of a compromise. Marsh realising that something has got to happen, has hit the first boundary. Oh, great shot. Beautiful straight drive. And Harper just watches it go by as it's hooked for six. Great stuff here by the Australian opening batsman. He smashed that away. This is top class batting. Richardson, first ball. Bishop strikes with his first ball as Boone is caught at mid off. And that's relief for the West Indies as Boone was really punching it around. Well, the difference here with Bishop was he kept the ball up, and on that occasion, he made it swing away from the right-hander. Cracking shot. What a way to get off the mark. Oh, that's cracked away. Glorious shot. Glorious shot. That came off this... Sweetest part of the middle. Not far out of the reach of Vivian Richards. One of the two men in catching position there, but that outfield is very, very fast. That was a really good stroke. Could have done anything to that. Could have tried to smash it somewhere, but he didn't. He just waited on it. The feelers are out now. Oh, he must be run out. Oh, that is crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, the fieldsman was the great Roger Harper, but they always looked there was a chance or two in that. I'm not quite sure what happened there because Marsh almost ran to. Let's watch this closely. 
There's the square drive. It's wide of point. He says no. Dean Jones is saying no, but Marsh keeps coming. There's a muck up, but they have time to recover. And Marsh has tragically run out for 22. Roger Harper, Dean Jones goes. Well, there was two men in the deep, one at backward square, one at fine leg, and young Bishop dropped it in short. Jones went for it. It was going down leg side, and Roger Harper doesn't drop catches. Went straight into those big hands, and that's a big breakthrough by the West Indians. There's also an edge to Mark Moore's bat. Doesn't matter from where they come. And a simple catch there for Ian Bishop. That's a pretty important wicket for the West Indies. They need to keep taking them regularly because the Australians are scoring at a very good rate. Yes, uh, that one looked as if it stopped just a little bit. A little puff of dust went up there and uh, it really was a very straightforward catch. Bishop pretty well enjoying that one too because uh, things haven't been going entirely to plan as far as he's concerned. And you can see that written all over his face. So Mark Waugh out for 22. That's a blow to Australia. Off 23 balls, Corton Bowl Bishop, and Australia now four down for 133. Mid on, Richie Richardson under it. And he's caught two catches tonight. And that one could have been the 